Hey there everybody, good morning, what's up, how's it going? Okay, Daniel Simpson here, missing all of you, uh, seeing you on Wednesdays and Saturdays and Sundays. So hopefully someday soon we'll get to do that again. Um, but for now I just wanna uh, reflect on a couple of little things. Uh, this weekend we taught a new song in church uh, that we sang together. Someone has sang it as a special music a while back, so it's not brand, brand new, but um, it's new for everybody to sing. And it was called Nothing Else. And I just wanted to talk about um, a passage and that song real quick, and just uh, something that I've been thinking about since we've been getting ready to do that song in church. Uh, let me read uh, these. I printed them up over here, so I'm just going to look over here for a second and, and read you these lyrics. I have them mostly memorized, but then, then we'll read some Bible too. All right, uh, the verse of this song goes like this. I'm caught up in your presence. Obviously, we're talking to Jesus. I'm caught up in your presence. I just want to sit here at your feet. I'm caught up in this holy moment. I never want to leave. That's the, uh, that's the verse. And that just reminded me of... A scripture from Luke, uh, Luke chapter 10. This is uh, verse 38 through 41. And uh, you might have heard this parable before. It's, uh, it's called at the home of Mary and Martha. Verse 38, as Jesus and his disciples were on their way, he came to a village where a woman named Martha opened her home to him. She had a sister called Mary who sat at the Lord's feet listening to what he said. But Martha was distracted by all the preparations that had to be made. She came to him and asked, Lord, don't you care that my sister has left me to do all the work by myself? Tell her to help me. That's classic. It's like classic sister or, you know, I had brothers and I did the same thing. Mom, you know, John isn't helping me. You said we both had to do this and he's not doing anything and I'm doing it all. You know, classic. Tell, tell him to help me. <laughs> Um, and Jesus, okay, so Mar Martha does the same thing. I'm doing all the work, and Mary's just sitting here listening to you, sitting at your feet, and Jesus says, Martha, Martha, in verse 41, Martha, Martha, the Lord answered, you are worried and upset about many things, but only one thing is needed. Mary has chosen what is better, and it will not be taken away from her. Wow. Wow. So here is Mary sitting at Jesus' feet, listening and hanging on his every word. And Martha's running around making food and getting things ready. And uh, Jesus says, hey, um, Mary's doing the better thing. And uh, so this, as I'm thinking about, you know, this song, I'm caught up in your presence. I just want to sit here at your feet just kind of has led me to think about, you know, how much time do I spend just sitting at Jesus' feet? And uh, with no agenda or um, special requests from God. That's another part of the song. I didn't keep that part, but there's a, there's a, there's a part of one of the verses or choruses that says, I'm sorry for all the, you know, times I've come with my agenda and and then I, and it says, I'm not here for blessings. The song also says, I'm not here for blessings. Uh, you don't owe me anything, Jesus. You know, I just want you. And that's the chorus says, I just want you. Nothing else. Nothing else. Nothing else will do. I just want you. Nothing else. Boy, that's a... Uh, it would be so great to live there 100% of the time, wouldn't it? To, uh, to really, truly, sincerely, and authentically just want Jesus and nothing else. Easy to say, easy to sing, wonderful, beautiful song to sing, but so hard to live every single day and every moment. Um, but boy, I, I don't know about you, but being in a time when uh, uh, so many things have been stripped away, uh, can't can't gather up and have choir practice on Wednesday night. I don't get to see anybody at church on Sunday except Pastor Wade. 
and Travis and and a couple other people that are you know Don and Sam are there running sound and um, I, you know but I and and Doug is there doing lyrics thank you thanks Doug you rock and Cassandra but um, you know don't get to see everybody don't get to have the big large worship teams and the choir doesn't get to sing on Sundays for worship and all the stuff that we're used to having we used to have people over after choir practice to watch Survivor and and um, you know uh, hang out on different times you know just getting together with friends going out to a restaurant doing whatever all that stuff is gone and uh, you know the kids were in choir and they're in band and they're in all these activities that's all over and and so now with all that stripped away what are we doing with our time? You know, it's almost like, you know, before you, you'd be like, God, I'm so sorry I didn't uh, get to do my devotions today. I know you understand. I'm really busy. Uh, you know, uh, we had to do this and I had to go straight to this and I had to go to this practice and pick up the kids and I had to run and get dinner and then we had to go to church and then da 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 You know, and it's like, we were, we were busy. Everyone's busy. Now, um, you know, I mean, there are still a lot of people working and that's awesome. Go for it. Uh, but there are a lot of people that now you are much less busy, right? I mean, maybe uh, you're not, but maybe you are a lot less busy than you were two months ago. And so it's like all our excuses are gone now. We don't have all those things. There's no more choir practices and there's no more band concerts and competitions and there's no choir trips and all that stuff's all gone. So um, now we now we have time. I, I say we have time to sit at Jesus' feet. Like, that excuse is gone. Uh, and if it's, if it's not, it still shouldn't be less of a priority, right? I mean, even if you're busy or things get busy again, uh, does that mean that we shouldn't sit at Jesus' feet? Oh. Here I am using that word should, though. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I want to. I want to sit at Jesus' feet. I want that to be my priority. Above everything else. And when everything is stripped away and we don't have our friends to hang out with or restaurants to go to, and or even if we do, and it all comes back and returns to normal, um, I still want Jesus and nothing else. And I'm not going to be satisfied when, you know, everything goes back unless I have Jesus. Um, so I've just been thinking about that. Wanted to share it. Wanted to talk about it. Wanted to look at that scripture in Luke and talk about the song. And, and I just hope I can, and pray that we can just stay in that place where we want Jesus and nothing else, where Jesus is the center of everything and our hearts and minds stay focused on, on that. Um, that's my prayer for us today. I'm going to pray. Let's pray. God, thank you for this um, day and this time and this day that you have made. It is your day, Lord, and we rejoice in that. So thank you, God. Thank you for your many blessings. But uh, Lord, thank you just for being who you are, for um, your son Jesus and what you, what he did for us on the cross, Lord. And I just pray that we would be like Mary. I pray that I would be like Mary and would just want to sit at your feet um, and worship you and listen to what you have to say. Um, I want you, Lord, and nothing else. Um, and I pray that that would be my thought and my prayer every day. In your name I pray. Amen. Hope to see you soon. Bye.